I'm Andrea Flores. The state may be reopening, but COVID-19 is still impacting all of us. That's why every week right here on CBSN Denver, we get your coronavirus questions answered by a doctor during a special segment called Q&A with Dr. Dave. Joining me now is CBS4 medical editor, Dr. Dave Nida. And Dr. Dave, this pandemic has put stress on a lot of people. Many are experiencing new physical symptoms like higher blood pressure, more stomach aches and headaches, even skin rashes. How should people who are feeling overwhelmed handle these symptoms? Yeah, people are having some very unusual symptoms that are not being caused by coronavirus itself, but actually it is actually more pandemic related and related to all the events that are going on right now. And what's happening, the stress of all of this is causing our bodies to put out 24 seven, just higher levels of stress hormones, things like adrenaline and cortisol that wind up interfering with our natural body rhythm. So we're hearing a lot of unusual complaints that people have never had before. And if you go from head to toe, people are having migraine headaches for the first time in their lives. They're having issues where they are just can't sleep at all. Other folks are having a depression, anxiety, panic attacks, which they've never experienced in their lives. And then as you move down, the body reacts by giving some people a sensation of a lump in the throat. They really feel like something is stuck in their throat. We think that has to do with actually decreasing amounts of saliva that are being made by the body in response to stress. So it feels like something literally is stuck. More and more people are having digestive problems, ranging all the way from making more stomach acids, so having to take stomach reducing medications. People are getting bloated. People are having irregular menstrual periods. Uh, and then when you take a look at things like the skin, people are breaking out with unusual rashes on their faces and typically on their arms and their legs that they just can't explain. And finally, some folks are even going as far as to have numbness and tingling in their hands and their fingers uh, that tends to come and go and they just cannot explain it. The advice is obviously be in touch with your doctor, get checked out to make sure that things are okay. And if you can't see your doctor in person, certainly a tele telemedicine visit can certainly go a long way in easing uh, your fears over what may be going on. Now, what about the people who have had these conditions before and the pandemic has only amplified their symptoms? Uh, those folks really do need to keep a, a very close track of uh, what's going on. For example, uh, blood pressure. Uh, frequent monitoring of uh, blood pressure is really important. Some folks with diabetes, they are having issues with their blood sugars going out of control. And then those who are having uh, these symptoms that are just worsening and worsening, that is a time uh, to talk to your doctor and find out what adjustments you can make with diet, with lifestyle, and also uh, just see if there's any other medication that can be helpful.